equilibrium price well my dear children human psychology tells that everybody wants to make derive maximum satisfaction maximum benefit economics also deals with the buyers and the sellers basic behavior a consumer wants to derive maximum benefits with minimum money and a seller or a supplier wants to maximize the profit by giving less his product but this cannot meet the demands they have to come to an understanding there we have to come to a compromising position we are now with a new topic called the equilibrium price the law of demand the law of supply should come together the consumer wants to buy more when the price is less the seller or the supplier wants to sell more when the price is more there they both cannot come together thereby we have started a new concept we have got in economics a concept called the equilibrium price let's see what it is see for example my dear children when the price of mango is rupees 20 the demand it will be 5 kg but the supplier will be ready to sell only 1 kg whereas because the price is less when the price is less he is ready to sell only 1 kg and when the price goes up when the price goes up by 40 rupees the demand comes down but the supplier is ready to sell 2 kgs at rupees 40 and when the price goes up when the price increases the demand comes down it is 3 kg for rupees 60 and there the supplier also is ready to supply only 3 kg where we have the buyer and the seller or the consumer and the producer come to a same point which is called equilibrium price when they come to a compromising position without sacrificing each other's benefits we call it the equilibrium price my dear children if the price is high at the cost of 80 rupees the consumer will buy only 2 kg and the supplier wants to sell 4 kg and when the price is 100 rupees and the buyer will go only for 1 kg whereas the supplier is giving 5 kg there the demand and the supply will not go together but here the concept of uh, equilibrium price is here with uh, 3 kg supplied and 3 kg demanded and that is called equilibrium price that's how the economy continues to satisfy the economics continues to help the people and how the country progresses with this concept equilibrium price you have learned the relationship between price and demand and the relationship between price and supply in the previous lesson this relationship is explained with the help of law of demand and law of supply it is clear from the table here that demand decreases and supply increases when the price rises. At a particular price, the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied will become equal. At this price, the quantity bought, that is the demand, and the quantity sold, that is the supply, will be equal. This price equalizes the demand and supply. When the price of mangoes is rupees 20 per kg, the demand is 5 kgs and the supply is 1 kg. When the price rises to rupees 40, rupees 60, rupees 80 and rupees 100 per kg, the demand decreases to 4 kg, 3 kg, 2 kg 
and 1 kg and the supply rises to 2 kg, 3 kg, 4 kg and 5 kg. At a particular price, the demand and supply are equal, that is 3 kgs. This price is called the equilibrium price and the quantity is called equilibrium quantity. In the given table, the equilibrium price is rupees 60 and the equilibrium quantity is 3 kgs. If the price is greater than the equilibrium price, that is rupees 80 per kg, supply is more than the demand. Sellers are interested in selling 4 kgs, but the buyers are willing to buy only 2 kgs. Now there is a gap between the demand and supply and that is 2 kgs. Supply is greater than demand by 2 kgs. This is called excess supply. To dispose the excess quantity, the sellers will reduce the price and it will fall to rupees 60. If the price is lower than the equilibrium price, that is rupees 40 per kg, the demand exceeds supply by 2 kgs. This is called excess demand. At this price, demand is 4 kgs, while supply is 2 kgs. So the buyers increase the price to rupees 60. Thus, if the price is below or above the equilibrium price, the forces of demand and supply will react to bring the price to the equilibrium level. This is called market equilibrium.